Hey guys, in this video, we're going to learn how to add traits to your journal and how to manage them. So there is two ways to, in order to find those two, we have to click here on add trait. Okay. This is going to take you to a view like this one, where you can have the option to either import your traits or to add them manually. So it depends on your tree style. You can either add it manually or import them. If you have plenty of history uh, from before that you want to have here on the, um, on the journal, perhaps you have, I don't know, a couple hundred traits. It's easier if you start import by importing them. Otherwise, if you start adding them manually, it's going to take you a while. So let's suppose you want to import them. So what you need to do is uh, click here on their import. Okay. It's going to take you to this screen here. You're going to start typing the name of your broker. Okay. So for example, my broker will be think or swim. I can start typing think, and then here I can see my selection. I just have to click on it. Now, if you do not see your broker here, you can uh, select other. And then here you can submit the name of your broker and then please submit the file from your broker. So what we're going to need from you here is that you have to export the trades from your broker in some kind of file, ideally some Excel or CSV file, submit it here. And then we're able, we were going to be able to extend our support in order for you to um, be able to upload your trades easily. Okay. So now assuming that you do find your broker, like for example, think or swing mine, All right. Then all I have to do again, select think or swim, select my time zone. Why do I have to select my time zone? A uh, think or swim or certain brokers, uh, when they export the data, they export the data in your local time. Okay. So if they export data in your local time, we need to convert that time into the time for the New York market. So when you're looking at the charts, you can see your properly a uh, entry and exit executions on the chart. Okay. Same thing with the day format. A uh, think or swims a uh, changes the day format depending on your whatever you have set up in your computer. Okay, so I'm gonna start by uh, selecting the file that I have exported from Think or Swim, and again you're gonna see the instructions for in order to export uh, your trades from your broker right here on the right hand side. So I'm gonna hit and click here browse. Once I have selected the file from my computer, I just click here import. This is gonna take normally a couple of seconds. If you have plenty of trade, thousands of trades, then it might take up to 20 minutes. If you have, let's say, uh, over 5,000 trades. Okay. And then that's it. I have imported my trades. So if I go back to my dashboard, I'm going to be able to see uh, all the trades that I imported and uh, all the statistics about it. Okay. And then I can start going into my reports and all that. Now, so that was importing trades. It's pretty easy and straightforward. If I want to add trades manually, I have to click here, add trade, and then on the right, on the left hand side, I click here, manual entry. Okay. Under manual entry, I'm going to have to select first the market. Am I trading um, stock first or cryptocurrency? Okay. There's only for the moment uh, three items or three markets that, you, that we support when entering these manually. Okay. So I'm going to select a uh, stock for the moment. Then I can start typing my symbol. Okay. Then my action was this a buy or a sell? What day was this? Okay. What time was the trade? So in this example, I'm gonna say it was uh, nine five. Yeah, sure. So one. I didn't enter my price. So I'm just for this example, I'm just gonna say it was ten dollars. And then I bought let's say a thousand shares. I enter my commission if I have any. So 9.95. And then I click add execution so I can add multiple execution at once. Okay. So let's say if I bought this, I'm going to say I sold this. Also action sold same day. Yes, sure. Let's say that it was at 12. I can also type here. Well, it was not at 12, perhaps it was at 10. So I can type it as well. And then I can say I exit at $15. Wouldn't that be the dream? And then here, there we go. 9.95. Click save. Okay. And then here we have it that my trade have been successfully added to my portfolio, default portfolio. Okay. Again, I can select my, if I have different portfolios, I could select a, any other portfolios here. I go back to my dashboard and then I can see here my trade that I have added manually. Okay. So let's suppose I made a mistake on this trade and then I want to correct it. So what do I do? I click on this trade. Okay. And then maybe the price was not a 15, but it was a 12. So all I have to do is click on this price and then it can start editing. It was 12. Okay. Right away. When I click outside of this box, 
everything, all statistics about this um, trade is going to be automatically updated, as you can see here above. It's just updated. So I'm just going to put it here. Maybe I'm going to say nine. So instead, it was a loss. So this should change to a loss. All right. You could do the same thing and start changing the size, the price, the value, uh, the commissions and fees. You can change all of that. Now, uh, perhaps maybe this was not my trade. I started covering my position at 500. So I bought back uh, or I sold 500 shares. And then I'm going to say I sold my next five, uh, 500 shares. I'm going to say I sold it at 12, uh, 11, sorry, 11, 11, just for this explanation. And I can say it was another 500 trades, I'm sorry, 500 shares. And I can say this one was actually at 15. So once I have entered that, I don't have to enter commissions and fees because this is optional. And then I click this plus sign. Okay. That's it. So. Now I have updated my trade manually inside of Trade Detail. So what I did is I, I changed the size from 1,000 to 500 here, and then I enter another execution for 500, another sale. So as you can see, I bought 1,000 shares and I sold two times 500 shares, okay? So that closed my position here. Again, I can delete this. So if that was perhaps this didn't happen, I can click here and then this will be deleted. My trade will now be open because I have 500 shares available to sell. So I'm going to say it was actually 1,000. Click outside, and then boom, the trade is going to be updated automatically. Okay. So again, let's revise um, let's review the, um, the two ways to add trades. First one, we can import our trades pretty easily here. Okay. I just have to type the name of my broker here. The second way, I can go and enter this manually here. I have to select the market, the portfolio, type the symbol, action, start typing everything about my, my trade, and then click Save, okay? Now, remember, I can enter here one execution or I can add multiple executions here. You can also edit or add trades if you go to your dashboard or also you can go here on, on the trades. Oops, trades, let's just go here on the trades. And if I click on the trade, I can edit this trade that I have created, right? And I can, I can here create more executions or edit the existing executions or delete the executions for this trade, okay? All right, guys. So with this, you should be able to know how to uh, manage your trades, how to import them, how to add them manually, how to close your trades. If you have any questions at any point, uh, please reach us out uh, with this uh, button right here. You can chat with us and then we can uh, clarify any doubts that you might have. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.